Hello and welcome to another video tour of Sci Future Cloud Tenant Portal. In this video, we will learn how to add a website. Let's start. As the first step, click on the VM link to open the VM specific dashboard. Once the dashboard opens up, click on Guest OS Customization. Now click on Power on Switch off the VM. Now click on Launch Web Console. Now copy the IP of the VM which was saved earlier while creating the VM. If you wish to learn how to save IP address, you can watch our other tutorial video. Now open the run command and type msctc. Copy the external IP and paste the external IP as shown in the screen. Click on connect button. Now copy and paste password which you have saved while generating the password for VM. If you wish to learn how to generate password, you can watch our other tutorial video. Now click on OK button. Hit the Yes button and wait for some time. In the web console, open the run command and type in it gar and hit the OK button. Now click on Manage as shown in the screen and from the drop down select Roles and Features. In the dialog box that opens up, click on Next and then again click on Next followed by another click on Next button. Now select Web Server and click on Add Features. Again click on Next for 4 times and then click on Install button. Now wait for some time. Once done, hit the Close button. Now close all the windows. As the next step, open Windows Administrative Tools and then click on Internet Information Services IIS Manager. In the window that opens up, click on Web01 backslash Administrator and then select Sites. Further, click on Default Website and then click on Browse Asterisk 80 HTTP. Now click on Explore and in the window that opens up remove the files permanently. Now right click to create a text document and rename it as default.htm. Open the text document and type some text as shown in the screen. Once done, click on Save As button and save it under the All Files menu. Now minimize the web console and open Chrome button. Now search for your external IP address and hit the Enter button. You will see that you have successfully created a website using your VM.